We are thousands of feet in the air overlooking mountains, valleys, the river, beautiful views all the way around. We are on top of the world here at the Earthlight Villa. We're going to be taking a tour of this place. It is breathtaking. Let's go check it out. Today we're here at the Earthlight Villa. Beautiful views. Located up in the mountains with the most beautiful views of the Columbia River, mountain peaks, valleys, the sky. We are in Entiat, Washington. Look outward in any direction for miles and miles and see the true beauty of our world here. We are staying at the Earthlight Villa, the one and only spot to get panoramic mountain views like this. The exterior is this black paneling with these huge windows, very box-like shape. I am a big fan of this. We haven't seen an exterior design like this before, and I think it really goes well with the nature that's all around it and this being on top of everything and how the windows reflect. It's just perfect. The windows reflect the river down below. It looks really incredible on this drone. It even reflects the drone itself, a little selfie. Of course, I like black houses, so I'm a little biased, but it looks good. Traveling in this Airbnb, you'll be going off the beaten path to get here, and it's very much worth it. We are on top of the world, totally private, escaped from the day-to-day -day life, and I am so pumped to show and tell you all about this cabin. Earthlight Villas was recently constructed with more on the way and has provided a serene cabin for people to enjoy. Make the trek to the cabin around the windy roads on the mountainside. Arrive and the Black Villa stands out perfectly on the mountain overlooking thousands of acres of wilderness. Floor to ceiling windows all around for immersive viewing and a deck out in the front that you will never want to leave. Walk around here and you'll find the chairs, a gas fire pit, and a hot tub out here. This deck is plenty large to enjoy all day. There's plenty of seating here, and you can't go wrong with the hot tub on top of the world. Enjoy the sounds of nature while keeping your eyes peeled. You may see some animals. I had a friendly little deer arrive on my property. Very nice. If not, the evening sunset is the most magical time. Underneath the deck, there's a swinging bench to enjoy and get the feeling of swinging off over the edge. You won't though. This has to be the best view for a swinging chair ever. Back around to the back, there's an additional swing from the tree to play around on as well. This all sits on 180 private acres, so no one should be bothering you up here. Hike around the area if you want. There's gravel roads that lead everywhere, gravel paths, and you can explore all around. Once you're finished enjoying the outdoors, you can head inside through the door on the back side. Let's head inside and see how it compares to the beautiful outdoors. Inside is an open floor plan with panoramic floor to ceiling windows all around. You don't have to escape the beautiful views while being in here. The windows are slightly tinted as well, which helps with the heat and brightness. You can't even see inside of them whenever you're standing outside. It's truly mind blowing how special of a place this really is. There's about 560 square feet of living space inside and it has been tailored to be perfect romantic getaway. This side is where your bed and living area are located. The bed, tucked up against the wall, allows you to wake up in pure bliss with the sunrise. Don't worry though, all these windows have automatic blinds on them. With the touch of the remote, you can close all the blinds and enjoy a private night's sleep. I like to have them open though, so let's open them back up. And if you're wondering about storage, there's drawers underneath the bed and a small rack to hang your clothes here. Or I used my Soul Guard luggage and it has a closet built in. Easy to open and it has a five tier closet that you can just pull right out, hang anywhere. You can hang it on the luggage piece. It's that easy. And storing it away is easy as well. Highly suggest this. You can get one yourself with the link down in the description below. Use my code to get 10% off. It's perfect for traveling to places like this. Anyway, in front of all of this is your living area with a comfy sofa, a coffee table with books to read, and a side table with provided wine and glasses. Don't need much more if it's just the two of you. Snuggle up, read a book, or watch a movie on your laptop since there is Wi-Fi here. Who would have thought? The middle of this villa has your kitchen space. This back wall has your appliances such as your refrigerator, oven with the metal backsplash, the coffee maker and creamer, and a dishwasher. Storage all around the fridge and on the other side underneath the island. This island adds so much countertop space to this kitchen and keeping it all white fits with a clean aesthetic in here. 
This side of the island has three barstool seats to use as well. This is a comfortable sized kitchen for the amount of space in here if you ask me. Now one of the best features in here is over on this wall. This is an open bathroom concept with the soaking tub and shower being exposed. The toilet though is private. Behind this door off the kitchen you'll have a vanity and a toilet to enjoy peacefully. Outside of this though is the soaking tub and it's the cherry on top of this cabin. The wavy design to it with a freestanding faucet, run the water, sit back and enjoy the views you get out of these windows. There's a nice towel rack right next to it for easy access, but if you're not a bath person there's a huge tiled shower right next to this. Two massive glass panels, black fixtures, waterfall shower head coming out of the ceiling. This shower is the place to get clean. The shower and the bathtub is bright, simple, and a clean design. With designing this villa, the landscape sure does the showing off. Keep the eyes on the windows and less on the interior. The minimal black and white design in here sure lets the surrounding views do all the talking. Overall, I'm a huge fan of this place and I'm already wanting to plan my next trip here. The mountains, the valleys, the views, the memories to be made here are endless. And now a little bit on how to get here if you do plan on coming. The closest largest airport is Spokane International and it's just under three hours to get here. Or if it's easier to go to the Seattle International Airport, that is three and a half hours. So both a pretty large journey. If you come from Seattle, be sure to stop in Leavenworth because it's on the way. And that is a beautiful stopping point and town to get whatever you need to. And once you make it, highlighted is the road that you'll be traveling on. And you can see on this left side, you are on a cliff side. So in the winter, you have to have four wheel drive. And I would suggest chains to get through here. In the summer, it is no problem, but you can tell it is a pretty epic uh, journey to get here. The closest town, Waterville, 20 minutes away to get some food, or if you want to go down by the river, that town is about 26 minute drive away. So not too terribly far from anything, especially being this private, it is awesome. Now if we're wondering about the views, you can take a look here, the river bends to the right. If we take a look at the map, that spot is eight miles away. So we have over eight miles of visibility through here. I mean, this is something that is pretty rare to experience, especially at an Airbnb. So I hope this information helped you on how to get here and planning your trip. So if you want to book this place, the link is down in the description below. The dates go by fast. This place is truly one of a kind. I'm pretty sure it's going to make my top five at the end of the year. I, I really enjoyed it that much. Whenever I pull it up, the cleaner said you have to book it during the winter. The snowfall is just jaw dropping here. So winter is coming up if you guys want to check it out. Now I truly did enjoy this. I don't get paid to say anything. I These are my own words. I liked it this much. I don't believe the plans for this place are for sale, so you'll have to come here and experience it yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video truly, and I'll see you in the next one.